Hello, everybody. King of the hill. <laughs> I sound like an idiot there. Um, but yeah, this whole commentary is something really simple, and I've seen this a lot lately. And yeah, I'm just gonna give you guys a little insight on how I stay calm while playing video games. So that way, instead of me being the troller, I'm not the trolley. So I'm gonna tell you every little tip and trick I know to stay calm while playing video games. First trick, the simplest. Stay calm. Some guy's probably messing with you because he wants a reaction. Kill. Just stay calm. Just don't care. Because there's, there's assholes out there. Yeah, the game might be okay, but the community is probably shit. So just chill. Relax. Go into every, like this might sound really pessimistic, but go into every game and expect to have a one-to-one -one ratio. Expect having like maybe 12 kills, 12 deaths. Just expect that. That way, you're already set yourself to a point where you're already accepted that you're gonna be average. That sounds really bad. That sounds horrible, actually, but it works. That's what I do. I go into a game and expect for me to get a like 12 to 12 rate like 12 kills 12 deaths so whenever i finish the game if i get like 28 kills like five deaths i will be flipping shit i'll be excited i'll be like hell yeah i was expecting 12 and 12. but you know you can give yourself some hope doing that that's always fun but here this leads up to another little thing which is my second tip don't give a shit that's the worst thing you can do in a video game. As soon as you start giving a, fla giving a flying fuck about the game, you've already lost. You lost. The game has already conquered you. As soon as you start giving a shit about this inanimate object, <laughs> inanimate object, you lost. What you have to do is literally not give a shit about this video game. Just have fun. For those who are probably the people that are raging are probably the guys that have a really high KD and they want to keep that high KD. For those people, fuck you. Relax. KD doesn't mean shit. If you look at somebody's KD and you're like, oh my god, it's 7.0, oh. Yeah, are you going to fucking worship them? No. Are they going to put that on their resume? No. Why does it matter? Chill. Just because it's like a like for me it's like a point nine nine doesn't mean I'm gonna not gonna go like forty three and like seven in one game. Or like for example, hard kicks. That guy's a fucking beast, by the way. He I'll put a link in his channel. I don't know how this guy does it, but he gets hundred and seven and like hundred seven kills and like not like five deaths. Freaking badass. But yeah, like he occasionally will get angry, but that's under that's somewhat understandable because that's what his channel's all about. But if you look at his KD, it's not like his whole KD is like perfect. He's not going for like a 7.0. He still has like a one point something. Why? Because he he messes around sometimes too. He's not all like I'm trying to remember the saying. All fun, no, uh, all work and no play makes Jimmy a dull boy. That's pretty much what you want to go for. Hard kicks, fun guy. But sometimes he plays hard, so that way he can get those, get his content out. By the way, his content, awesome. If you don't know him, subscribe to him. He's pretty awesome. So yeah, just don't give a shit. Your KD does not matter. You're not going to put it on a resume. It's not going to uh, go across video games. It's not going to stay with you forever. You can create a new account, and boom, it's gone. Does it really matter to a, a, a freaking like, three-digit number? Does that really matter to you? Think about it. Does a three-digit number really matter? No. Not at all. Now my, t my third tip. Play fun games. If you're playing Call of Duty and you're getting angry, find a game to play that's kind of fun. Like for me, my favorite game to play, if I never ever start feeling like I'm going to get angry at like Call of Duty or whatever, Skate 3. Love that game. If you, I'll put this in my description as well. Check out my Ode to Skate 3 video. Or my fun time, like my my pre-rendering fun uh, video, which I'll also put down there. That's all from Skate 3. And 
you can do the stupidest and the derpiest stuff in that game. I love it. You'll have so much fun playing it. You'll even you won't even remember what being angry is like. So get a game that you think is gonna be fun, like Skyrim or Skate 3 for my example. Example Uh and play it. <laughs> Voice crack. But yeah, like Skate 3, you can easily you could probably buy that. It's it's like gonna be like twenty bucks. It's been out for several years. You're, gonna, you're set. Just get that game. But uh, yeah, next thing, uh, I wrote down things to avoid. Which what I mean by that is like for me, um, on Halo 4, I avoid big team. I hate big team battle. Why? Because it seems like everybody has a like ass seeking dildo launcher and it's always going after me. Don't like it, not fun, so I avoid it. For some people, I don't understand this. In the call, in the, some of the Call of Duty kids I've played against where they're playing a game type and they get angry at the game type and I ask them, why the hell are you even playing this game type? And they literally will respond, I don't know. You're fucking retarded, okay? If, you, if the game, that part of the game makes you angry, avoid it! It's easy. It's like the bully at school. You're not gonna walk up to him and be like, hey, what's up? No, you're gonna avoid him, because what he's gonna do, he's gonna freaking grab your underwear and pull it up and then put it over your head and then hook you up to onto some flagpole or some shit. Oh, that's some, like, cartoon shit. Uh, but yeah, just avoid that. Picture, like, the game type is a bully. You don't wanna, you, know, you don't wanna play with the bully, that's not fun. You wanna avoid him. It's stupid. Now my next thing is dick around. Fun thing to do. Just a dick around. If you go through like like some of the videos that me and Merc Music have done, uh, if you look at uh, like some of the stuff we do, you'll see that we just dick around most of the time when we're all playing together. Like if you look at it, it's like, I can't remember what he names it, I think it's called Funs and Fails video series. Look at those and just realize that it's not all hard work and play. We just we go around just fucking around. And sometimes we get funny reactions and we record it. You just want to dick around. Just have fun. Like for me, one of my classes I actually use is hashtag cut for beaver. Where I run around with no primary, no secondary, and just a tomahawk. So I'm just running around with a knife. So that's my dick around class. Or you can use noob tubes. That's always fun. Because you can noob tube somebody and they get angry. And then you get to laugh at them being like, haha, that's not me because I watch this video and I know how to stay calm. Now, another little thing, easy, really easy to do, is be with friends. Find some a group of people that you play video games with and just chill with them. Why? There's two things you can do while in this like zone. One, if you're in a group of friends, you're not going to get as angry as you normally would because you can reflect your thoughts off of them. You're know, like, hey, this guy's kind of being a dick with a, with a shotgun. And so they'll be like, yeah, that guy is kind of being a dick. It's not full-blown angry like, fuck this guy, he's being a dick with a freaking shotgun. Because that's really stupid. And honestly, if you're with friends, I found out that it's you're not going to rage as much because, one, uh, for me... I hang out with YouTubers now, because I started YouTube, and they've been helping me out. Like Merc Music, he's been helping me out a shit ton. And one thing I know is, I don't want to rage around him. Why? Because I might end up on his channel with me raging. Not fun. Another reason to uh, not rage, because Pete, your friends will make obviously make fun of you. But yeah, last thing. If you can't do any of the above, troll. Just be a dick. Because honestly, it's fun seeing other people get angry at what you're doing. Like for me, I do gun game, I go into gun game and just knife. I unplug my headset so they, uh, like, they won't mute me, but I can hear them getting angry. That's always fun. Why? Because hearing somebody else get angry is you. Funny as hell. So, well. I'm just going to wrap this up. So basically, stay calm. Don't give a shit. Play fun games. Uh, just avoid playlists and shit that you know is going to like fuck you over in the end. Dick around. Be with friends. And when all else, all else fails, troll. Just have fun.
So I hope these tips helped you, will help you out, and whatever. If you have any ideas on what I should do next for any of my videos, give me a heads up. Hope you guys like the video, and like and subscribe, and please share and get me out there. Thanks, guys. I love you all. But yeah, this glitch works as long as you have the arrows in your head. I don't know if it's like if, guys, if it's any other body part or, or what, but as long as those arrows are stuck in your head, this glitch will work. And as soon as they're gone, your guy goes straight back.